Hello everyone and welcome to Food Stuff. Today we draw inspiration from my quest of finding a new apartment. Just the thought of moving and going to IKEA has me craving those spherical meat nuggets, the Swedish meatballs. Now I am making a huge amount of meatballs because I am meal prepping, but you can check the description box for the recipe and ingredient amounts. First preheat your oven to 400 degrees. To start off we are going to fail at finely dicing an onion and then sauteing it in some olive oil with a pinch of salt just until translucent. When it's done set it aside and get your biggest and ugliest mixing bowl and we are going to crumble 4 slices of white bread and just enough milk to completely soak the bread. To that we are going to add half a teaspoon each of allspice and nutmeg to the mix and then mixing our eggs we, that we almost forgot thus creating our slurry. Now it's finally time to add our meat. I'm adding equal parts of ground beef and ground pork. If you want a more tender meatball, get ground beef and ground pork around 75% lean. This is a lot of meat so make sure you season well with salt and pepper. Now time to practice your massage skills and mix your meat until it forms one cohesive mass. To form your meatballs, you can use a small ice cream scoop to make a uniform meat nuggets, but if you don't have one like we do, we're just doing it old school. You can make them any size you prefer, but try to make them uniform so that the cooking times are even. And place them on a baking sheet lined with lightly oiled aluminum foil. Notice each one of mine is a little bit different size. Some are bigger than others, some are more oval. Each ball is a special snowflake. Don't do this. When you are done, bake for 20 to 25 minutes. This is the perfect time to start on our sauce. Using the same pan that we used to saute our onions, add some butter and flour, creating a roux. Now my roux came out very thick and that's because I was strictly following a recipe. And the lesson here is that use your common sense when you're cooking. To this, we are adding our beef broth and a little bit of sugar. Now to prevent lumps, add cold broth to a hot roux and mix. If you just got home from the store and were too hungry to think and wanted to start cooking right away, just keep mixing with a whisk and eventually it'll smooth out. Now I'm going to store some of the sauce away for another time, but to finish the sauce, just add a splash of cream and set aside until your meatballs are done cooking. When the meatballs are done, carefully, uh, carefully add them to your sauce and cook them in the sauce while reducing it to your preferred viscosity. At that point, taste and adjust for any seasoning. We are plating this next to some garlic, rosemary, chunky mashed potatoes, and these meatballs came out beautifully. The slurry gave it a smoother texture and it is so tender. And that sauce was so good, I had to lick my plate clean. Hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Give it a try. Let me know how you liked it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time with another recipe video.